I just bring too much stuff. Many of us know what it's like at the airport, on vacation, up way too early in the morning. If I win the lottery, I'm going to fly until the money's gone. Few are as happy about it as Mike Selwa. It's fun. You see, this Harley engineer from Oconomowoc is using a vacation day to engineer something very special, something life-saving. Yeah, it does feel good. Pull it out now. At around 8 in the morning, Capital traffic, Skyhawk, one, Selva two, lifts two, off from Brookfield's Capital Airport. Radar vectors. Once high in the sky, the part-time pilot, maybe I would have been a pilot if I started over, <laughs> explains how flying is his full-time passion. Well, one of his passions. He flies in, a, in the airplane with us. Uh, we've flown uh, several trips with him. Selwa shares his airborne adventures through the Facebook page of his curious co-pilot, Harlan. I'm embarrassed to say that I was probably the only guy not on Facebook. And I wasn't sure I wanted to take that step yet, so I put my cat on. Unfortunately, there's no room for Harlan on this trip. He probably wouldn't like the company anyway. Uh, leaving 6,000 for 5,000 Skyhawk 172. More than three hours of travel tales later, the animal lover lands in French Lick, Indiana. Home of Larry Bird. 60 miles northwest of Louisville. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, doing fine. There, Selwa meets Bob Hilpert, a full-time Delta pilot from Tennessee who has five furry reasons to fly on his off day. Hilpert introduces us to four lab mixes plus... This is Whitfield. A gentle puppy. He's a shepherd mix. And she's looking for a home. Like all these guys, they come from Savannah, Georgia's animal control shelter. And the animals there face a fatal fate. This particular shelter down there is, is a kill shelter. We feel badly that, you know, some of them don't leave shelters that uh, are adoptable. Who would want them to go, you know, get put down? They are beautiful dogs. They're just in an overcrowded shelter and um, people need to adopt them. I mean, they're just wonderful pets. So every few months, a transfer takes place. Dogs are carried, you be good, crated, All right. loaded, and literally airlifted to safety. It's an opportunity to uh, put two passions together at once. Y'all be safe. After about an hour on the ground, Hilpert heads home. But Selwa's day is only half done. He guarantees his pod passengers a smooth ride. I promise. Gears up and heads down the runway with precious cargo in the back. Yeah, the goal is just just to get them uh, where they need to be as quick as you can, because it's, it's stressful. The dogs spend most of the trip nervous, but very, very calm. This little guy hasn't been any trouble since we brought him aboard the plane. It's uh, amazing how quiet it gets. Selwa's destination, five hours away, is happily ever after Animal Sanctuary in Marion, Wisconsin. When we complete this mission, I'll have flown uh, 139 dogs. Marion's not far from Clintonville Airport. But I tell you. Where Selwa walks. Welcome to Wisconsin. And watches the puppies play. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Until Amanda writes and the rest of the happily ever after crew arrive to give these dogs their happily ever after. The shelter that we're working with down there ends up having to euthanize between 20 and 40 a day sometimes just because they're so inundated. <laughs> Wrights is actually the one who originally organized this life-saving arrangement through the nonprofit website Pilots and Paws. The site's been linking together people like Selwa and Wrights for years, but the Georgia to Wisconsin run now has a life of its own after almost 10 rescue trips. These guys deserve a chance at life. Too. Are you losing your energy? And they'll get it. The pups load up and Selva takes off, approaching his 10th exhausting hour in the air. I won't feel it till I get home. If he just kept going south all day, Selva would have ended up more than 100 nautical miles into the Gulf of Mexico. Long trip, but uh, picked up five puppies and brought him to a safe place. Not too shabby for a so-called vacation day that Selva wouldn't have any other way. I feel good and I'm tired. We're home. There are many, many people volunteering through Pilots and Paws and they're not just pilots. For more information, check out our website, fox6now.com. For Fox 6, I'm Henry Rossoff.